Good morning. Those of you who know me extremely well know that I detest the DAX. There's no reason for it. I just don't like it. But it is a very interesting market at the moment. Now, what I've done here is show you the monthly chart so you can see exactly where we've come from and why the action that we're seeing presently is of extreme importance. I squashed that up. And you can go back, you know, in time when DAX was just a little nothing. So we can go back to 75, 85. I do like to go back in time a lot, but I am interested in the double top, the 2009 crash and the 2009 start of the bull market rally. So there you have the monthly view and you've got the 55 month average coming in at 11197. You've got the 23.6 monthly coming in at 11259. Now, that's the monthly eek view. Now let's look at the weekly view so you can see exactly why I'm quite excited about the DAX, which doesn't happen very often. Now I am sure that I wasn't the first person to pick out the head and shoulder pattern, but I was up there I think in the top 100 of picking out this topping pattern here as we fell. This was the interesting part for me, is when we failed to break through a significant fib level and we virtually identically double topped. That was my key that I, it piqued my interest at that point, which is rare. Now, what we've seen is the DAX come down break that 23.6, stay below it, even though we've rallied a few weeks, we've stayed below it. And this time we've broken through 38.2, which is quite an important level if you're just doing the ball run of 2016. So the last little bit, if you like, but going back to the monthly, you can see exactly why we're all leaping up and down in our little chairs. Now, I think squishing this out, we broke the neckline last week. And the neckline for me came in with connecting those two lows there. So we did it basically on that first week that we saw the big move down but on this week where we opened and closed um basically at the same sort of level just a few pips but we did try for the 11847 we, we did try now this week um we've got our weekly pivot coming in at 11 61.19 but this is the thing that I am interested in as well is this 200 week moving average and that's coming in at 11.470 okay if we look at what our low was last week our low was at 11.459 okay so we just nicked it but we recovered and we closed towards the lows now as we speak on the DAX at the moment pre-open we're at 11654 my systems only ever chart the cash because that's where all the action I think takes place so we open in less than 10 minutes less than 15 minutes You've got to watch this pattern because the rest of the world is. If it breaks, the measured target of that move down 
is down here at the 78.6 level okay and even lower but first I would expect it to get to here that's its measured target now the DAX has taken two years to form this top two years to actually if you go back to 2017 that's when we started making our top and it is a classic top so if you you can in actual fact put a time on this because normally what happens when you have a two-year major topping formation it gets to the target area within nine months okay that's what the game plan is it will always go down faster than it goes up and this big two-year top should come to its climax around about nine months to a year but it will start now okay we're at that crucial level on DAX so you've got to be aware that any rallies at all give a better opportunity to sell into don't be waylaid if you like by the noise of the market keep that big long-term view in your head and remember that off that trend line and off that 200 week period moving average we can actually retrace back to here and if we look at where that is that is coming in at 120.92 ish okay that still takes us still within the bearish pattern even if we go back to here it's still within the bearish pattern so please be aware of that good luck i don't do this market very often but I will keep my eye on it on a weekly basis now and update as necessary. Good luck. I'll see you tomorrow.